In the second Jorgensen Landing Cattle case study, Nick, who has a master's in economics from SDSU, shares one of his analyses. Now, keep in mind that the details of your operation may differ from Nick's, but the principles that govern those economics remain the same. Um, and I do want to preface what I have to say with, like, like Dad mentioned, I was born in 1991, and since the day I've been on the ground, I've, I've never operated a plow. I've never seen what a conventional tillage system looks like. So I had to rely a lot on Dad, who had to really, really tap into his memory to remember the way we did things in under our conventional system. And, you know, and it gets even more complex when you think about the continuum of things that existed between a conventional till system, a wheat fallow system that we operated under years ago, and to where we are today. There was a lot of changes that took place and a lot of different options you have to analyze right. you know, the operations that took place. But there still are some fundamental things that exist differently than what do now that you can compare pretty easily. So right off the bat, we don't have a tillage pass, right? So you know, years prior on our conventional system, you'd have a fall tillage, maybe two fall tillage operations, two spring tillage operations, and maybe even an in-season cultivation, things like that. So you got five tillage passes across your land. We operate today under our cover cropping system, like say on an acre of corn, we'll have a spray pass, an air seeder pass, another spray pass, and it gets planted, and then a third spray pass during season. So three, three spray passes versus five tillage operations, which really, in effect, do the same things. They they meet the goals we're trying to meet, and that is control weed pressure, get you know nutrient down, and all that kind of thing. So, depending on how you analyze those operations and the cost that you apply to them, we see comparable in, in our operation comparable differences of somewhere between twenty five and forty five dollars an acre less equipment cost, and under our current system, than we have in that continuum that came before it. For us. Um, you know, based on the cost numbers that we've analyzed, it's actually it's cheaper for us to, to run a sprayer across from a, from a pure input standpoint, operation standpoint, than it is to run a plow across the ground. So right off the bat, you have reduced your operations cost by $25 to $45 an acre. I mean, there's, there's, there's no argument about it when you, when you think about the reduction in passes and the cheaper equipment that we're running across. So right off the bat, we've saved a lot of money. The next video may be a bit of a surprise. See you soon.